Well, hello, Scorpio. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly tarot card reading for December 18th through the 24th, 2023. And happy holidays to all my Scorpios out there. This is the holiday week. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for my subscribers, welcome back. Now, keep in mind, Scorpio, these are general readings. If it doesn't resonate with you, you might want to check out your rising or your moon sign reading. So take what resonates, Scorpio, leave the rest. And let's see what the cards are revealing for this upcoming holiday week. What's coming through for Scorpio? Okay. All righty. First up, the Four of Swords. Next, you have the Queen of Cups coming in. Major Arcana card, Death. And the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck, your overall energy, the Tower. All right. Let's take a look at your crystal for the week. What does Scorpio need for the holiday week? Clear quartz, connection to spirit, your crown chakra, meditation. All right. Oracle message coming through. This is the um, Sacred Forest Oracle deck by De uh, Denise Lynn. So oh, let's see what's coming through for Scorpio. Ancient Oak Spirit Strength. Some of you, for some reason this year, um, are going to have to dig deep getting through the holidays is the message that's coming through. For one reason or another. Not sure. All right, tea leaf card message, and one flipped over already, so here we go. Oh, wow, news of a birth or new business opportunity. So, uh, birthing something new, and that's probably why the tower card's coming in. And we're going to talk about that first. This is your overall energy kind of running in the background, and what's interesting on this tower card is it's snowing and there's a fire. So <laughs> it's like really something extraordinary, um, out of the norm that could be happening this week. And don't always think the tower card is something bad. Um, I feel that something, um, yeah, and you've got the death card. You see the bottom of the tower. Usually the bottom of the tower is not disturbed. It's only what ha recently happened. But I feel that there is something that has been in place that is now crumbling away. This is something that needs to go. It's an energy that needs to go. And uh, as far as um, the fire here, it's just something out of the ordinary, something unexpected. There's some kind of change that could be coming in. And yes, for some of you, um, there could be the birth of a child or finding out you're pregnant with a child. Um, for some of you, it is going to be some kind of new business or opportunity that's headed your way with the stork. This is birthing something new. Could be a new idea, new money coming in, something that's unexpected. We do have the Four of Pentacles coming in in regards to money, and we have the four, it's four energy, stability. We have the four of wands, which can be some kind of celebration. This is usually a ceremony, uh, a celebration. This could be the birth of a child, getting engaged, getting married. Um, it's a celebration, getting a house. Um, these, the cards underneath, are um, what you can't see yet as of coming. And so there's something stability coming in. And so if you're single, you might be getting engaged, getting married, you know, and celebrating. And look at, I could keep going. The bottom of the deck is so interesting. Uh, this is what you don't see coming. This is launching some long-term plans. And we do see the King of Wands. 
King of Wands could have something to do with um, a new business opportunity coming in. So this is radical change coming in. Something very surprising, unexpected. Um, maybe letting go of something that's been in place. It's kind of crumbling away. Something that no longer serves a purpose to you, Scorpio, is what I'm picking up. So your anchor card for the reading is the Four of Swords. And that falls in suit with the Clear Quartz Crystal. And Clear Quartz kind of handles all the chakras while you're meditating. But there are different color quartz crystals that can really tap into the specific uh, chakra. Clear Quartz, this is like the top, you know, um, tuning into spirit source, that connectivity. And that's what the Four of Swords is all about. You know, um, taking a break, um, quieting your mind. Um, we've got um, a little bird here bringing in the message that you need to take a break, rest, relax, spend some time in meditation. And there might be a specific chakra that's kind of out of whack, out of balance. And you can look up as to what... Um, what color quartz will take care of what uh, chakra? Now I see the three swords planted downward. That is um, the battle is over. Something that you've been working very hard. And now you're able to take a rest. And there's a little bird on the one the one sword there. So there's some kind of news or message. I do feel it's tied into possibly the death card, not that it's actual physical death, but more something coming to a close, something that has come to an end. The battle's over. It's over and done with. This could be the ending of uh, something that you wanted to, to have end. And certainly, you know, with the uh, tower card, you know, running in the background, you know, something that was not serving a purpose is chipping away, falling away. Death card coming in is the ending. Completion. It's kind of almost like inevitable. I'm picking up an inevitable um, energy here. So Four of Swords is kind of like um, taking a break. You have the Queen of Cups next. This is what you're focused on, Scorpio. Look at that. The Queen of Cups is second only to the uh, High Priestess in regards to um, really a, a strong message of trust your gut instincts, your intuition. She is concentrating on this beautiful cup here. And that is spirit source. That is what this is all about. Having clear quartz with you and tapping into, you know, your crown chakra as well as, you know, paying attention to the guidance that's coming through your inner guiding voice. There's messages coming through. Queen of Cups is in regards to what you feel, your emotions, your desires, and your strong intuition here. Time to take a break and listen to the messages, the guidance coming in. There's something new wanting to be birthed, whether it's a new relationship, a new job, um, starting like a, a new member of the family, a new business, some kind of new idea. And with the death card, Major Arcana, it definitely ties into something unexpected, you know, possibly coming to a close. And something that I feel is um, welcomed. Now, the Two of Swords here is about sitting on the fence for some time. Not having enough information, not being able to move forward, maybe being blocked, having challenges or something that's been standing in your way. This individual has been sitting on this bench for some time, not able to see, looking behind, that there's another place that she could go. She's just sitting in the snow here, just waiting and waiting. But with this card coming in and also the tower energy this week, there's something that is starting to push things forward. Now, I want to talk about your ancient oak spirit card here. This usually represents like standing in your truth, you know, your true authentic self when you need to step into your strength. 
Uh, for some Scorpios, this can be um, responding maybe to a, a situation with too much strength. But I love the message that is known to be with the ancient oak spirit. This could be an indication, something mystical and magical, magical coming in. But it's a reminder of your strength, Scorpio. And Scorpios are usually mystical and magical in their own right. So your inner strength means speaking your truth without like over explaining yourself. Full authenticity, even if everyone else is against you. So there could be something that was blocking you. Um, sometimes this card means that there was something blocking you or there's something to come. I think it's, you'll know, you'll resonate what is stopping you. This is a, a card of good fortune. If something you've been going after has not been able for you to achieve it, This is a card of strength indicating that you will overcome whatever that is. There's the death of something. Something's ending where it, it had you stuck in regards to making a decision, maybe moving forward, you know, just constantly weighing the pros and cons. There's, there's some kind of change coming in with this card that the tower card and the death card are like united, I feel. There's a saying with this card here that what are currently obstacles will be tomorrow's stepping stones to success. So that's what I feel is coming in. You need to calm and center yourself. Focus on what it is you desire. There's something new that's going to be coming in. So let's uh, clarify these cards and see if we can get any more information. We've got the Four of Swords, kind of um, rest. This is in regards to the work that you do. This is something that, that you're very good at, Scorpio. There could be um, a new direction now in regards to whatever it is that you're good at. Something you desire. Queen of Cups. You're looking at things in a different way with the Hangman card. And this is your connection you know, with that's your crown chakra again. So a definite message. We have the 12, which is a three energy. There's some um, something new. <laughs> you can tell with the tower card showing up, something unexpected coming in. It's really going to change your perspective on things. And the death card coming in. Yeah, there's some good news. Something is over and done with. There's some good news that's coming in, something you feel passionate about. And then inevitably, the Two of Swords, you're going to take that blindfold off and make a decision here. You're going to be moving forward. Yep, there you go. The Knight of Pentacles. One of the slowest moving knights, but he's going at a pace that where he's really thinking things through. So Scorpio, this is something uh, very durable, long lasting. This Knight of Pentacles plants the seeds for your future. And with the store card coming in, something new is birthing. Something new is coming in and a uh, new business opportunity, some kind of opportunity, something that I feel that you're good at. It's coming in, but all this other energy needs to get out of the way first. All right, Scorpio. Last message here. We have the beautiful secret manifestation card. So let's see what is the... Um, manifesting message for Scorpio for this uh, holiday week. What's coming in? There's progress coming in. You're going to be able to, something's clearing the way this week for you. All right. Count your blessings. Make it a daily habit to sit down and write out 10 blessings. If you never did anything else, this one practice could absolutely change your life. All right, Scorpio. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website to continue with a private reading. But Scorpio, love and abundance. And happy holidays to my Scorpio family.